I'm Joe Ancona. I'm an applications engineer with Alleycat Scientific in Tucson, Arizona. We have uh, Ethernet-based protocols. We have RS-232, RS-45, and, uh, and of course, analog signals, which number one, what do you have now? That's really the key question. If you're starting from scratch, you're in a laboratory, you're a college student, and you just really need to get this experiment set up and running, RS-232 is really the best way to go, or uh, even more simply, just using the front buttons on the device. We've got six buttons on the front panel, which allows you to do most basic things with the unit. But say you've already got a factory set up and you're, you have hundreds of other devices, whether they be humidity sensors in the room or um, you know, just any kind of ambient monitoring systems or other machines that are all working off of a common network, Alleycat offers a lot of different protocols now, as we're speaking, in the digital communication world that will allow you to integrate uh, an Alleycat into that existing structure, whether it be Profi bus, Ethernet, IP, which is very common, um, Modbus, uh, which rides on top of RS-45 or RS-232. Uh, we have a lot of different choices there, and I think that's where Alleycat really excels, is that we're adding more continually, but we have a very large host of existing protocols that you can use to integrate into uh, current systems that are already up and running. The way most industrial protocols work, um, there, there's a few that are uh, managed by organizations like CIP, um, and there's other companies that have, that have created the, uh, the particular industrial protocol. I think there's over or almost 40 industrial protocols out there right now that are being used today. Some of them are as old as 1970s and, and some of them are as recent as just the last five years. So it's tough to keep up with, with all of them. Uh, you'd have to you know, study uh, all these different ones and see which one works best for your company. But most of the time, the companies that we deal with already have one that they've settled on and have been using for years. And it's just a matter of us putting that particular software set on there or chipset or circuit board to accommodate that. And then all the digital communication happens internally for us. And then we spit out and get back the data from their particular uh, host controllers, whatever that protocol might be. Alleycat's always striving to be uh, a, a component, an instrument that can be used in a lot of different situations and be and put in and replace other, other components and be a part of another network that already exists. So when it comes to communication, I think our, our biggest, our strongest suit is the fact that we are able to accommodate many different protocols and be able to be integrated into systems that already are existing. The conversation always starts uh, either with one of our applications engineers or a field sales representative and they uh, come to us with their, with their problems and uh, we do our best to solve those problems using our instruments.